What's going on, guys? It's Uncle Muscles. How you guys doing? Uh, I've been playing Raven Dawn recently. Use the reference code in the description below if you're curious about playing with us. Uh, the worst team ever. Uh, there's good PvP. There's good PvE. The game is fairly new. It came out a couple weeks ago. I'm very much enjoying it. Check it out. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Um, and if you're new, or even if you're not new, and you want to save some silver on infusing, I'm going to show you a couple tricks very quickly on how to do that. Uh, infusion is how you upgrade your weapons in the game. Um, and what I've been doing is, instead of just using the infusion materials, we just took a peek at the marketplace very quickly, so you have infusions here. Um, we'll clear our filters. Uh, infusion costs about 33, 34, sometimes 40, sometimes over 40 for every 10 points of infusion you buy. So I actually have a whole stack of these in my inventory right now. Um, I even have an ancient infusion if you'll look. This is one way to save silver. So always look at the different types of infusions that there are. There's infusion, then there's warband infusion. Um, so that's 34 for 10. Um, this is 65 for 20. So you save a little money right there. And then ancient infusion um, is another one. And then so that's 116 for 40. So that's a little bit more of a save there. So always take a peek at the actual market for infusion if you want to save some silver. There's a couple different ways to, um, there's a couple different items that actually give you direct uh, infusion. Now, if you also want to save some silver, and this is what I've been doing, you want to look at the market for weapons. Weapons will actually give you infusion as well. Or not weapons, sorry, any item, any item, any, any, t and not, and not any item, sorry, any type of gear, gear. So weapons, fishing poles, um, uh, chest pieces, cloth armor, leather armor, any of that stuff. So if you go into all items and then you sort by, this is how I do it, I sort by tier. Um, any of these types of items have a tier. So we can get rid of the ancient infusion part uh, and go back to all items. There you go. It'll show you every item that has a tier. Tier items can be infused and have infusion. Uh, so if you, except for tier zero, tier zero will not, you can't infuse those. Those you can just throw out of your inventory. Um, if you see here, we see this, this is 109 silver, this fishing hook, we can buy that now. Um, and if we go into our inventory, and we look at infusion, and we take our boots, for example, we can see here, we can take this fishing hook, uh, and we'll see, we'll get 75 experience for um, for uh, the copper fishing hook, and we only spent 109 silver on that. For the same price of infusion, we spent 120 silver for 40 experience. So the fishing hook does um, more infusion per silver if you're finding those on the market. If you're lucky, you have to pay attention to what the market is. Um, the other thing that kind of sucks, though, is that if you take the, the, the reason why infusion is nice is because you can take a whole stack of infusion and, and infuse it at the same time. So that's the one benefit of actually using infusion. But if you want, take a peek at the market and pay attention to what is available because you might see better deals. 75 experience for um, 75 or for uh, 110 silver is very good. Tier 2 give um, 150 experience. So if you can find something in the market of... Uh, like 300 to 400 silver, it's something you might want to consider. Um, now, on top of that, if you want to save a little bit more silver, and this is really the best way that we've seen right now, is that you can take um, one of these infusions, let's just say, here, let's just remove everything from here. Uh, let's just say we have this hook, right? This hook costs 75, or it costs 150 silver to infuse it in my boots. Now, if I were to take one infusion here, and we'll take that same hook. We're going to actually infuse the hook here. Uh, you know what? Before we do that, I can just show you quickly. Do I have another hook? I do. Okay, good. Okay, so if we infuse the hook here, you'll see um, that, in, that infusion will go up from 0 to 25 to 10 to 25. It costs 20 silver, which is the reason why we're actually using this. It's the cheapest way to do it. We can use these stacks. 20 silver to infuse this hook. Infuse the hook. Perfect. Now we have a hook with infusion. Now we're going to take those same boots back, right? And we're going to look at this hook that we just infused. There's no silver costs. If you compare it to the one that we just bought before that, I actually maybe didn't do that on str on, uh, on the video, but I bought one previously. Uh, this costs 150 silver to, to, to infuse it into the boots. The one that we just infused with the infusion, which costs 30-something silver, that now is free to inf put it in our boots. So not only are we saving money, or silver rather, by, by infusing items into our, into our other items, 
but we're saving even more silver by infusing our infuse or we're infusing our items to infuse into our items. So infuse items will save silver when you infuse them, but you only need to infuse it once. So you don't need to put a whole stack into an item and then infuse it. You can if you want, but it's not really necessarily what we're trying to do here. If you're just trying to save silver on, on infusion, which is what a lot of new players are going to be doing. You can just take one infusion, put it into your item, and then take that item and infuse it into the item you want to infuse. And that way there'll be no silver cost. So essentially, we're only paying 20 silver to infuse this uh, fishing hook into our boots. It's actually a huge, huge save. We're saving a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. 150? Uh, yeah, that's a lot per item too so i mean you're doing this over and over and over again it's a great way to save silver anyway if you guys enjoyed that uh little uh tip definitely check me out on twitch twitch.tv slash uncle muscles join the guild the worst team ever uh i appreciate any of the support you guys and i'll hopefully see you soon have a good one all right bye